Welcome to the show, everybody. Just one week remains before this major, major election. Later this week, we will be looking at house projections. We will be looking at apartment. Pro no, I'm getting house projections and Senate projections and so much more. But one of the really interesting sort of new stories that cropped up virtually out of thin air on Sunday at Donald Trump's Nazi style rally at Madison Square Garden is the issue of the Puerto Rican population, Puerto Rican voters here in the mainland United States and specifically what this might mean for the election. We're going to get to that all a little bit later in the show, but I want to start with something that, you know, sometimes you you just don't know where looking around will take you. And one of the things that has surfaced over the last couple of days, as many of us have sought to answer the question, who the hell thought it was a good idea to have comedian Tony Hinchcliffe tell jokes before the Trump rally? The answer that some of us has, have found is it seems like Joe Rogan thought it was a good idea. And that may even be where Trump got this idea in the first place. So let me remind you. Uh, before Donald Trump spoke on Sunday evening in New York City, Tony Hinchcliffe, the comedian who I've said before, I didn't have any issue with previously. I thought he was excellent in the roast of Tom Brady. And when he's punching up and going at celebrities and athletes, his roasts are good. This felt mean. This felt vindictive and it felt xenophobic at the end of the day. Here are the comments from Sunday's rally which have generated so much controversy. A lot going on. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah, I think it's called Puerto Rico. OK, all right. OK, we're getting there again. Normally, I don't follow the national anthem, everybody. OK, so even the <laughs> Even the bloodthirsty and crazed Madison Square Garden crowd did not exactly feel titillated by calling Puerto Rico a heaping mound of garbage in the ocean. So, of course, after this all happened, Trump's campaign and Republicans generally started rushing to do damage control. Rick Scott, who is running in Florida, which, if not a large Puerto Rican population, has a large Latino population, immediately said this wasn't funny. This wasn't good. Puerto Ricans are great people. Latinos are great people. Uh, the Trump campaign put out a statement saying that Donald Trump does not um, uh, agree with or that Tony Hinchcliffe's comment about Puerto Rico does not represent Trump's views. Some on Fox News defended it as just jokes. The usual suspects on Twitter have been saying, if you're offended by this, you simply have no sense of humor and you're a tone policer and blah, blah, blah. Well, one of the operational questions that came up is how did Tony Hinchcliffe find himself speaking at a Trump rally to begin with? And the answer might be might be that Trump or someone working for him more likely heard what Joe Rogan said about specifically Trump getting Tony Hinchcliffe to give him or to say things. Check out this clip that's been unearthed. It would behoove him to hire a few great comics to just tour with them and just write oh one liners about all these different fucking people. I mean, if he could remember them, I mean, oh I, think, I know God. he likes to go off his own head, but sure. if he could remember a few Hinchcliffe bangers, <laughs> if he hires Hinchcliffe to take him on the road, <laughs> <laughs> do you know how fucking insane that would be? Yeah, dude. Hinchcliffe writing bangers for Trump to shit on people. Trump was smart. He would, he would hire Shane and Tony Hinchcliffe. To there you go. So Joe Rogan thinking it would be some kind of brilliant idea to bring in Tony Hinchcliffe to write one liners quote to shit on people. It turns out that he did do that, except it was Puerto Ricans. <laughs> it wasn't radical socialists, which is considered politically acceptable. If you're on the MAGA right, you say, oh, radical socialists, this and that. It wasn't, uh, you know, I, I don't know, celebrities from Hollywood who support Kamala Harris. It was just Puerto Ricans. And it is now a major and massive problem for the Trump campaign. Now, later in the show, we're going to dig into uh, in more detail something which we spoke about a little bit on yesterday's bonus show. Oh, the bonus show where you want to make money. Yes. Everybody else that makes money to fund themselves is bad. We made money on the bonus show yesterday while talking about the fact 
that after New York and Florida, two states whose results are not really in question, the leading states in terms of Puerto Rican population include Pennsylvania, a state which could be the deciding state in uh, next Tuesday's presidential election. So this Hinchcliffe thing, it actually could cost Trump the election and it might be it might be Joe Rogan that Trump will have to thank for that. Let's come back to that a little bit later. I think one of the most interesting recent developments in medicine is our new understanding of how metabolism impacts aspects of our health. And that's why I love our sponsor Lumen. Lumen's the world's first handheld metabolic coach. Quite simply, it's just a device that measures your metabolism through your breath. And on the app, it'll tell you if you're burning fat or carbs. And on that basis, it'll give you tailored guidance with the goal of improving nutrition, workouts, sleep, even stress management. All you have to do is breathe into your lumen first thing in the morning. You'll know what's going on with your metabolism, whether you're burning mostly fats or carbs. And then Lumen will give you a personalized nutrition plan for the day that's based on those particular measurements. Now, you can also breathe into it before or after workouts and meals, which gives you other sets of actionable insights. Your metabolism is like your body's engine. It's how your body turns food into fuel and it keeps you going and feeling good. And Lumen will give you a better understanding of that. Go to lumen.me slash Pacman to get 15% off your Lumen. The link is in the description.